Hey guys, how you been? It's Kevin, just checking in. I apologize, it's been a little longer than usual since I've posted, but my wife and I have just moved into our new house. I have tirelessly worked on this house for the last five years with the help of my old man. I apologize about the wind. We got a storm whipping in here and I wanna get this uploaded for you guys since it's been a while. Um, if you'd like to see a tour of the new house, click that thumbs up button and I'll do that in a future video. Just give me a few months to move in. Um, I've also been very busy at work. We have a lot of exterior paints going on. There's still some more to do, some drywall stuff. Just busy at work. So I do want to do more with the YouTube channel and I want to move it in different directions. But right now, I want to talk about this little beauty. This is my Grand Forest Brooks Cruiser Axe, Vintage Cruiser Axe, which is featured in this splitting video. And I want to talk about why I love this axe so much and why I think it outshined the Arvika 5 Star. Let's do that really quickly and then we'll jump into the video. This is a two and a half pound double bitted Cruiser Axe on a 28 inch handle. The reason that I really, really love this axe is because there's not a flat surface on this thing. It's convexed in every direction. Of course, it doesn't have a very wide bit, but because it's convexed in every direction and it's so short and stubby, it just doesn't stick and it busts those chips out real well. I love this ax, I really do. Probably my favorite ax, my favorite ax to use anyway. And I think you'll see, I hope you'll see, that it performs much better at splitting on the ground than the Arvika 5 Star. I also wanted to address one other question that I got in the comments about the Arvika 5 Star. So a couple of you said that I should compare it on the same wood um, to see how it pops out chips. I've kind of already done that. If you go back and look at my uh, braids and Basque Axe video, I'm chopping the same log that I'm chopping in the Arvika 5 Star videos. And you can see that, especially the braids, woo, it's gonna pop any second here. I feel like I'm in a hurricane. Um, but go back and check that out and you'll see that the braids and the bass chop much better than the Arvika. All right guys, enjoy the video and I'll see you on the next one. Well, I'll be. Color me surprised. Maybe it isn't such a bad splitter. Let's see what I can do with this pile. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Let me give it a try here. I was gonna use the uh, cruiser ax. I don't like this short handle when I'm splitting on the ground like this, but we'll give it a try nonetheless. Sticky little guy. miss that crack a little bit but you constantly banging it out of the cut because it sinks so far in there so what's the verdict I would say it splits better than I expected but not good enough to call it 
a good splitter. I mean on the ground, of course. I hope you can see the difference already. I can get the head speed up a lot more with this two and a half pound and I'm not fighting it out of the cut. <laughs> 